You must have heard of Peter Luger's. It's one of the country's most iconic and famous steakhouses. Peter Luger goes through hundreds of steaks a night, and they hand select each and every steak that they serve. Third generation owner, Jody Storm, is gonna give us insider access and show us what happens behind the doors at Joe Baggy, one of the few remaining butchers in the meatpacking district. After you. Hey Nick, I want to introduce you to John. Hey, good to see you. John. Nick, very pleased to meet you. Jody let me ride along to see how she selects the porterhouse steaks, and I understand you're one of the guys that provides her with that prime grade A meat. Show us what you do. Swing a few pieces so Jody can see them. This is the hind quarter that we're gonna look at first. You want a nice rounded out carcass, not a long, skinny animal, which would indicate so not enough fat. You want something that's, that's shorter Round. and fatter. Yeah. And the portion that we're interested in for the restaurant is the short loin, which starts here at the sirloin side and ends at about here. So within this, you cut the porterhouses, and then as the tenderloin muscle tapers off, that's where you get the T-bone and then the New York strips. Correct. That correct, that's right. Judging by the marbling on this, you can sort of tell what's going on in the muscle here. It's a, it's a guesstimate. Is it? Right, yes. in the same way that looking at the exterior is. Right, this could end up actually being a beautiful piece of meat, but we would reject it based on the fact that it's missing bone over here. When they split the hinds, the bone is supposed to be even on each okay, side. Okay, so there should be more vertebrae. Yeah, so you see they're way. missing here for like these last maybe, you know, seven or eight inches. Gotcha. This will be a problem when we do the dry aging. Even though it's probably a beauty, I'm going to have to pass it. It's very much a process of illumination, correct? Yeah, we're looking for the gems here. So, you know, it takes time and we're hoping to find the right ones. Okay, so this is good. The bones are nice on here. The meat's going to cut at about this point. So let's see what this looks like on the eye. Ah, that's beautiful. See, it's got a nice pink color. It's got a nice amount of marble dispersed throughout it. You'd rather have the fine flecks in these big lightning bolts to go through. I personally like them lighter. It melts out in the meat, and Not I think you. it makes Not for you. nice eating. I would take the stamp, ink it up, and hit it. Nice. And I stamp it over here. So I stamped it up here so the guys working here know that this is a hind I've selected. They'll cut it into the short loin. Okay. And then when my driver comes to pick it up, he knows that this is mine because he'll recognize the stamp on you the side. You don't buy the rest of it? No, I don't buy the round. That's not for me. So do you buy all your meat in this form? We buy a lot of the meat in Heinz, but I prefer to buy it when it's already cut into the short loin. Because that way you're able to see both sides and see if the marble continues nicely throughout. Can we see some short loin? Sure, let's split the sea. What? Look at that one. So that looks like a Pete Luger steak, am I wrong? Yeah, this is a gorgeous piece of meat. Some really fine flecking here, and then some more heavy flecking here. Because this is a short loin, you can actually look at the other side. Right, that's the nice part about looking at the short loin. We so really have a around. full vantage point. That looks amazing. Now look at that. That's a beautiful filet. The filet is generally more of a plain piece of meat. That's an unusually high amount of marble. And of course, if you're looking at the hind, you can't actually see this muscle, right? That's right, so you're given more information now. And if you compare it, Let's say to the one that's directly under it, sure. this is a plain area over here. Look, look how much marble is in the Not same sure area on this one. This would be a 10. This I definitely would take. Okay, this is the one you would serve me in your restaurant, right? <laughs> For sure. 